<laughs> Hi, everyone. What's up? Sorry, I was getting socks because it's cold. <laughs> I was getting socks because my feet were cold. What color are the socks? They're navy blue. I navy blue socks. <laughs> just one cheerful little rat. I'm so happy. I'm just so happy. <laughs> Welcome back from your break. Thank you, thank you. Um, I will say we still have more outings planned, but it's not gonna be continuous consecutive days in a row. If that makes sense. So it will still be a little bit, oh, uh, like. Inconsistent streams for a tiny little bit longer Um... Before, until I can figure out a schedule But... I'm back! I'm back! Sporadic! That's the word Sporadic! Did you finish your laundry? No, I didn't Ah, <laughs> uh, it's washed! I need to go hang it I may have forgotten about it Um, I'll hang it after the stream I'm gonna hang my laundry at like zero degrees at like 3 a.m. Let's go. <laughs> I forgot. I was just I was I was browsing the internet and I forgot that I did laundry and then I did hang it up. Whoops. A big whoops. Clickbait title laundry not the laundry kinda done. I mean laundry is just washing, isn't it? Anyway, your clothes will be frozen, so be it. <laughs> so be it. <laughs> ah, how's everyone doing? You guys doing? What did you miss me? You sound so happy. I am so happy. Another reason why I'm so happy is because I've, I've, I've had stream withdrawal. I've had stream withdrawal. Withdrawal? Withdrawal. Withdrawal. Stream withdrawal. So, I am now happy because I can stream. <laughs> Thank you for the super chats. Oh, I wanted to talk about the, the upcoming streams. I need to do... <laughs> there might be a stream of like catching up with super chats. Over the new year is I'm gonna be reading my new year money allowance stream. <laughs> there might be two of those depending if I can thank all of you guys. Um, okay, music is kind of loud. Urusaina, urusaina. 
and then and then we can continue on with the normal stream. Also, Anirag came through. I have the time capsule. I called her and she was like, what? And I was like, I need your help. And she's like, what? <laughs> I'm like, I need you to go to my PC and help me upload a file. And she's like, what? <laughs> I got the time capsule. Yeah. Once again, Anirag, better than me in every single way. <laughs> when will you read them? Hopefully I can read them uh, within this week. Hopefully. Hold on. What's the date? <gasps> okay. Um, hopefully I can read them this week. I want to... I want to... I want to thank all the Super Chats first before I read them. Maybe we can read them this weekend. I don't know. We'll see. But, 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 but. I will make sure to read them. Yes. I'm very excited. I actually don't remember anything that I wrote. Um, with the, for the time capsule. So, yeah. Yes. Yes. Anyway. Um, today we're gonna be playing Power Wash Simulator because, again, this is not a Zatsu. This is a gaming stream. Because I'm a gamer. I don't remember how to play the game. But we're gamers. Okay? I also have a juice. Because I eat... I, I, I'm trying to be healthy. They have these fruit... No. Is it? Yasai! Yasai! Ichinichi! Kore ippon! It's like some vegetable juice thingy. It's not a zatsu. We're gaming. I don't know what you're talking about. It's been nine months since the last Power Wash stream. It has? My goodness. Thank you so much for the super chat. Thank you. Oh, I will read this stream super chat, sir. I'm trying not to... Um, stack up any more than I already have. But thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Um... Oh, yeah. So, Sofra, thank you so much. Sad to see you miss this year's Mario Kart. <gasps> I want to talk about Mario Kart. I need to make a list. Mario Kart, um, the trip, things that happened, and things going forward. Yes, that's what I want to do. Um, Yasami, thank you so much. Hi, but hope you're having an amazing time in Japan with the girls. I'm not able to catch this live since VOD gang, but I can't wait to hear about any everything you've been up to for the last past couple of days. Oh my goodness. I mean, but here's the thing. Iris already said most of it. She left out some very key important details that I remember from my perspective, but nevertheless. <laughs> nevertheless. I don't like this. It tastes like vegetables. Oh, me te yasai da. Yasai. Ah. It tastes like vegetables. Oh my goodness. What did you expect it to taste like fruit? <laughs> oh, I cannot believe the vegetable juice tastes like vegetables. Anyway. Um, Salt of Bread, thank you so much for the pink super chat. Bim bim. Welcome back from your break, Bay. You just heard the stories from Iris and how you smell nice. We'll get there. Um, we've been waiting for you two to off collab so long. It's great that it's finally happened. We haven't off collabed yet. Hope you're doing well and cheers to more fun stuff in Japan. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Um, sorry, I have a weird question. How do you deal with nerves? I'm about to drive up my very first big Tetris tournament of 2023 and I'm nervous as hell. Palm spaghetti! Wish me luck. Top two or bust. <gasps> Don't think too much. Mm. I think um, when it comes to nerves, it gets worse if you overthink what you do. That makes sense. Um, so if you don't have a thing, and you, you know, you know you normally do well, just pretend it's like a normal Tetris game. And you'll do perfect. You'll do just as good as normal. Yes. Um, Blake, thank you very much. Alan, thank you very much. Faction, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Another one to add to the pile. No. Not the pile. Thank you. I appreciate every single one of your super chat. Thank you very much. Um, okay. We're playing a game. <laughs> And yes, we're gonna have the Inuyasha music in the background the entire time. The entire time. Okay. Hi! 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 Oh my god, we still haven't finished this house yet. Really? 
my goodness. Can you guys hear it? Turn the music down. Turn this up. I cannot believe it. Uh, walk? Oh, yes. Show dirt is tab. Oh, pick up, crouch, sprint, walk. Okay, got it. How have we not finished this house? Oh, this was the peepee -pee house. How have we not finished this house? What? Oh, wait, no, this was a different... Oh, my God, that's loud. Is PP still there? I don't know. Oh, wait, why is it not coming through? Wait, you can't even hear it. Chot tomate! Chot tomate! Where did all the progress go? I don't know. What did happen to all my progress? Stop. There we go. Okay, okay. What happens? I mean, the front is clean at least. I mean, I still have my Urban X. That's the thing I bought, right? Is it too loud? Let me know if it's too loud. Forgot to say what's a glitch. It might be a glitch because I didn't transfer the files. I had to reinstall the game. Um, so maybe that's why. But... Is a smidge loud. Okay. Is that better? Uh okay. That's better. Sure. What happened to my progress? Oh well. Anyway, what's the first thing we want to talk about? Uh, the first thing I want to talk about is I don't remember what I talked about or not. That's the only problem. Um, I remember the last time we did a Zatsu. It was like right when we got to Japan and I was, I was, I just started rambling because so many things had happened in the span of like a couple days. And you know, I had the cover. Have I talked about the cover yet? I think I have. I was still a bit loud. Okay, I'll turn it down. What a way to start a Zatsu. I know, right? Black Mage, thank you so much for the pink super chat. Boom, boom. You're my Kagome. Ala. <laughs> I'm your Kagome. Ala. Ala. Inuyasha ka? Inuyasha desu ka? Or are you my, f uh, are you my vegetable juice? Because my vegetable juice is also called Kagome. Am I your vegetable juice? That's not very romantic. I don't really like how this tastes. Ugh. But I need to be healthy. I promised Mama Rat I'd be healthy. She told me I need to drink the vegetable thing every single day. So she's scared I'm not eating vegetables. But little to her knowledge, I've had vegan food for the past like two days, I think. I'm extremely healthy. <laughs> be healthy, but I am healthy veggie table veggie table okay the very first thing i want to talk about is the cover in more detail um the thing Wait, that's not how you spell it. Perfect. Amazing. Oh my god, we can act you guys can actually use the <laughs> you can use the emote now. Um, the thing about the cover is... Thank you so much, it reached 200,000 views! I'm so happy! That song, it was crazy to record. I don't think... No, I don't think I talked about the process of the song. It drove me crazy! My goodness! Actually, it was one of those songs um, that took forever. It was supposed to come out and either in 
like October or November. So I started like back. I started it back in June of last year. It took forever, mainly because I was being really annoying. And when I had a pro, when I have a project where I have like a very distinct vision, it has to be as close to the vision as possible. I'm not happy. Yeah, it's quite the deal. It took forever, and I was so, I was so, I felt so bad. <laughs> Because it's like, on one hand, I it was like, sometimes I was like, ah, oh, I could just go with this, but then I knew deep down I wouldn't be happy with it, you know? I'm just a little bit of a perfectionist, you tr you right. Just a tiny little bit. Yeah. Welcome to the Red Pack! Welcome, guys. What's up? I should do a membership stream soon. I haven't done one in a while. I don't want to do, though. The result was well worth it. I'm ha yes, I'm really happy that I was be I was I was an, as an, as annoying as I was, um, because it ended up perfect, as perfect as I envisioned. It was great. I loved it. The video, the art, the mixing, Yoshi Kami Ken God, man, Kami Ken. Everybody loves Kami Ken. He's actually called Kami Ken. <laughs> That is the nickname I've given Yoshiken san. My mixer. Oh, not my mixer, but the mixer that I use. That I. Oh, that sounds weird. The mixer that I commissioned is Kamiken. <laughs> um, yeah. Press C so your camera doesn't move. Hmm? Whoa! Whoa! Nani? Nani? Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Welcome to the rap pad. Welcome to the rap pad. Thanks for coming around. Got everybody bow down to the gods. He's a muscle kick. This is crazy. When did Power Wash implement? Am I crazy? Did I just not know that this was there? Bro. Nani. Yeah, yeah, thank you so much. Wait, I missed the super chat. A bit. Can you set the title of each language like the original song? Like, the in the month? Oh! You mean put the Japanese title? I don't know how to do that. Like, I, I think I've heard that you can put different titles in different languages, but I don't know how to do that. Maybe I'll change the title to the Japanese name. I don't know. What took the most time for the cover creation? Um, the art took a while because it's so beautiful. And then the mix also took a while because I was just being really picky. Hmm. I don't think that's how I'm meant to use it. Change stance, left control. Oh, it's three levels now. When did that happen? Oh wait, I remember cleaning the back of this. But I don't think I've cleaned the roof yet. Yes. <sighs> yeah. I'm really happy about that cover. I've got more coming out soon. Yeah. I've got another coming out. I've got... Oh, I can say this now because I want you guys to know in advance. I have another cover coming out this month. Because I knew that my, my travel plans would mean less streams. So I wanted you guys to have more content. There's more! There's even more! Yeah. <laughs> There's one more coming out this month, I think. Yeah. 
Is it a solar car? It's a solar cover. It's a song that I've loved for a while. And it's an anime song. <laughs> it's an anime song. There's more. But you just getting any stories about you and Iris make up for the lack of streams? Bruh. Iris. You know, you think you know someone, and then you spend a couple days with them, and you're like, bro. Bro. Who even I? I'm kidding. <laughs> um, yeah, Iris is great. Should we talk about that now? So, for those who are at Iris' stream, she's already said, but we went on a girl's trip. We went on a girl's trip. I shouldn't be saying girl's trip while drawing this, but it's fine. Don't worry about it. Girl's trip! Went to Kyoto! Kyoto! Kyoto ni kimashita! We came back today! Yeah! 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 Did you get to use your Kansai bear? <gasps> Actually, the very... F when the day we, we arrived in Kyoto, we got into this taxi with this Oji-san. And then he started speaking... Kansai bear was that? The taxi driver? It was completely different from Tokyo. It was a Kansai bear. But I can't really hear... I mean, okay, why did I suddenly switch to Japanese? I don't know. But the taxi driver started speaking in a, in a in a different accent that wasn't like normal Tokyo a Japanese that you hear in Tokyo and then but I couldn't tell if it was Kansai then because he was kind of mumbling um and he was showing us stuff like on his little monitor and I was like ooh that's cool Kyoto is a little different right? it's a little different it's a little so the one thing I'm really happy about is that I've been getting so many chances to practice my Japanese. I'm not surprised. I should know that. Bad B. I should know that. It's been one month. They haven't found out that Bay is not Japanese. I think some of them know. But most just assume that I'm Japanese. Until I start stuttering and they're like, oh, this rat is from here. <laughs> this rat is not from here. You know when they start like, um acting out what they're saying with their hands. It's like at a convenience store or like at a department store. Normally, here's the thing. It's not even that I don't understand them. A lot of the times it's just because I can't hear them because they keep mumbling. I've, I've noticed that everybody mumbles here. I can't hear. So a lot of the times at the convenience store, they ask you, do you need a, do you need a bag? Like, do you need a, a carry bag? And then a lot of the times, like, I just, like, I, I, I think I know what they just asked me, but I'm also not sure. So I just stand there looking like an idiot. And then they say it again, but this time they acted out like them holding a bag. And I'm like, oh goodness, I have given myself away. <laughs> Do you wear earphones while talking to them? No, 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 don't think so. I don't know. And they say it very quick as well. You're right. You absolutely right. Cover blown. Actually cover blown. I feel like I had a very anime experience. I had a very anime experience today. And then... I don't know. I feel like li living in Japan has just given me many opportunities for anime experiences. Yes. Yes. Um, so we went to Kyoto. 
We went to shrine. And I pulled a dike tip. You know, I had a feeling it was dike tip. All the moments leading up, like literally, said, just spoke to me that it was dike tip. I knew it. For those who don't know, Daikichi means like high fortune. So what happens in Japan is that when you go to a shrine, you can like pull your fortune. You like rattle this, this container that has different sticks with different numbers. And then the number that you get gives you a piece of paper. And you can either get high fortune, medium fortune, little fortune, and just like a curse. So it's four levels. Um, and obviously everyone wants Daikichi, which is the highest fortune, right? Omikuji! Yeah, so... Lit... Is someone talking? Is that from the game? How dare you interrupt me? I'm trying to tell my story of my Daikichi. Excuse me. Excuse me. Huh. She's hearing voices now. I swear I heard someone talk. What the heck? Anyway. Um, so, what happened was... Um, I had decided to take a smaller bag out that day because, you know, going to a shrine, I knew there were a lot of people and I didn't... I didn't want to carry, like, a big handbag, so I carried a little bag. But the problem is, my wallet is really big, so I decided to bring my, my, my card pouch instead that I normally keep inside of my wallet. Right? So, when you go to a shrine, a lot of places only accept cash. And I was like, Oh, shiitake! I didn't bring money! Because I, I only brought my card... My card... What do you call it? The card case? The card wallet? I had no money! And they don't take cards. I was like, what do I do? And then I was like, wait, hold on a second. <gasps> what is that I see? I open up the middle slot of my card wallet and just... it. There was, there was a... 100 yen just sitting there. There was just 100 yen, and the and the and the omikujis cost 100 yen, and I was like, "Is this my luck? Is oh my, what the luck? Right? Literally, what the luck?" And then I went and bought a mikuji, and I was like, "I had a feeling, you know. I had a feeling I would get daikichi because the situation had." You know, it, it, scre it screamed Daikichi, and then wouldn't you know, I got Daikichi. God is really helping me, right? You spent your 2023 like, no, it doesn't stop there, guys. It doesn't stop there. Literally, it doesn't stop there. So after I got the Daikichi, and then Iris, Iris got killed, and then I started laughing my butt off. <laughs> um, and I think Fona got the, the me me medium fortune. Um, anyway, I started laughing my butt off. And then, that, that was the end of the shrine day. Um, and then, we went to, we went to, we went to Inani! Yeah! Went to the, went to the, uh, the gates and stuff. Yeah, we walked so much. <laughs> Leg day forever. We checked out the, 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 the red, the red gates. And then it was really nice. I'd never been there before. So it was really nice. Tourists. Destination. Um, so what happened was, Iris was like, I want another go at the Omikuji. But then she didn't have enough money. So I was like, you know what, Iris? I have Daikichi. I have the highest luck. I will give you my money and you will pull Daikichi. And guess what happened? Uh, she pulled a Daikichi with my money. <laughs> She put the highest fortune with my money. The flex. The flex, bro. I am lucky rat for real, for real. That's 2024 luck spent. I hope that's not the case. But it doesn't even stop there. It doesn't stop there. We went to an arcade. Where we saw a certain senpai had a certain figurine that was available to be gotten. It doesn't stop there. So I was like, you know what? 
This senpai is my Oshi. I have to get... I have to! I have to! I have to get this figurine of Subata senpai. I have to. It is literally a crime not to get it. Um, and then Iris and I kind of took turns trying to get it, and then Fortnite just looked at us as if we were stupid. Which is probably the case how we looked, because we just kept spending so much money on this, on this, on this goddamn thing, I mean. Um, and we kept, we kept spending money and money. I think, in total, the first one cost, like, around 8,000 or 9,000 yen, which is around 80 to 90 bucks. Which is still, I suppose, decent for, like, a good figurine. And it's, like, a good figurine, you know? Um, and then, pretty much what happened is that I got it, and then we kind of walked around the arcade, and I was like, Oh, Iris, I'll pay you back. And then she seemed, like, she was fine, but she, I knew, I could tell that she was dissatisfied, so I was like, you want to try it again? I'll spend... I will match how much you spent to get you to get you one as well. She's like, yeah, I really, really want one. So we went back. And then she started trying. And then on my, like, second go, I got it for her. <laughs> we may have figured out the pattern. And then we got a second one after, like, 15 bucks. <laughs> 15 or 10 bucks. I was gaming. I really was. And then, we were about to leave, and then Fauna looks at us and was like, Do you think we can get a third one? And guess what? We went home. With three Subarus that night. And it was amazing. It was amazing. Truly the year of the rat. I know. I know, right? And then I sent it to I sent it to Subada Senpai and she was like, Suga <laughs> Sai So Subada Senpai no Higa Mitsumo Totita. The Senpai ni Sashio Kutta Toki. Suga Sagiru Wala 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 the idea of Hololive guttering for Hololive is really funny to me. Isn't that? I feel like that's like, you, you, you have to. There's no choice but for you to do it. <sighs> How many times did you Sumima send the stuff? Um, twice. Once because we wanted to rearrange. Um, the very, the very first figure we were trying to get, it kept, it was in a really like, difficult position. So we asked for a reposition once, and then the second time was when we got the we, we, after we got the second figure, and we had to ask her to replace it. That's what we did. <laughs> Literally, senpai tax, bruh. And uh, how do I get onto the roof here? Do I do like a run jump? <gasps> yes, I do. You know, the power of water in this game blows my mind. It truly does. Water in this game will clean anything and everything. If only that was how real life worked as well. Man. Water. Yeah, she still makes fun of me when I say water. Anyway, so that was our Kyoto trip. We had really good food. Uh, we had a really good time. We may have gotten drunk both nights. <laughs> because when you're on vacation, that's what you do. That is what you do. Uh-huh, uh-huh. We may have gotten drunk, but that's okay. Actually, no. Quote, unquote, I think Iris and I got drunk. I don't think Fauna got drunk. But Iris and I definitely got drunk. I could tell because Iris started... <laughs> Iris started using her hands even more. Um, and then she may, she may have started talking a little bit more slurry. And then she started grabbing me in places that I was like, Bro, what are you doing? But... That was fun. It was that. Why is it not... What places? <laughs> um... She started grabbing my thigh. And I don't really know why. This was... Pretty sure this was like... Uh, 
Yeah. Is that squeezing my thigh? I was very confused. What she said? It was she said because my thigh was very squishy. And how it was different to her thigh. I don't really understand. I thought all thighs were squishy. Is that not the case? No? I don't know. Anyway, there was that. That was really fun. Uh, not the size squishy part, just the fact that we were drinking and having fun together. And then the hotel was there was really nice. I finally... I finally experienced a bath that would stay warm. Oh my goodness. For those who don't know, I was... I was like suddenly reminded of a story that I told on stream. That I haven't told on stream yet. Not in English anyway. Um... I, I, I called into Roberto Senpai's, uh, what do you call it? The Santa... What is it? Santa Roberto stream. And he was asking his guests like, Oh, can you tell us about our happiest and saddest time? I will now repeat the story for the first time in English. Because I truly lost my mind during that time. Last year. Um, it's the tub story, but you guys get the actual English version. I didn't tell it on stream, that's how sad I was. Um, I was going to tell it eventually, but I had to fully process my trauma first because it was that traumatizing. Um, anyway. So what happened was, remember I got a new tub, right? And like, it, it's fine now because I, I already did like a space in the tub and whatnot. But when I first got the tub installed, and by me, I meant, I mean Papa Rat. Um, I didn't realize there was a limit of how much hot water I have. And that's not it. That's, I think that's a very unfathomable thing unfathomable thing in Japan because I've realized they have self-filling tubs and also the self-filling tubs will finish will like automatically fill itself and then keep it warm which is crazy to me how come this technology has not gone overseas yet or maybe it has and I'm just missing out because it is absolutely life-changing you know and it's not like it's extremely modern. Like, the tubs just look like normal tubs. Some of them even look a little bit olden. Olden style, you know? But they're just automatic. It's great. You know? I don't know. Anyway, so what happened was, after I got the tub, I was like, oh my goodness, I'm gonna fill this up and I'm gonna enjoy my very first bath experience in the shed. So I turned on both the hot water and the cold water, you know, to try to get the perfect temperature. But what I didn't know is that halfway through, it ran out of hot water. So I was just filling the tub with cold water. And I was like, bro, this is not how I envisioned this night to go. And my stupid rat bait brain was like, how am I supposed to get this water up to the temperature it needs to be? Because I like to feel like I am actually boiling from the inside out in my baths. That is how hot I need my baths to be. And my stupid rat brain was, how can I get boiling water quick? And the answer to that was to boil water in a ke boil water in a kettle and hope for the best. That is literally that was literally my thought process. I boiled water in a kettle and hoped for the best. <laughs> How many kettles? This is the stupid part. One. I thought I only needed one kettle. Because I was like, you know, it's boiling water, you know? It will do something. Because it's boiling. The water in the tub wasn't boiling. Normally when you take baths, it's only 40 degrees. But I have one kettle of 100 degree water. Something, it will do something, right? <laughs> so I was like, I've got one, one and a half, maybe what, it was a one and a half liters of boiling water. It'll do something to this bath. So I poured it in and I got in and it was completely underwhelming. It was so cold 
It wasn't even cold. It was lukewarm. You know what? I have I have an opinion that lukewarm water is actually worse than cold water because it comes with disappointment. When it's cold water, you know exactly what you expect. But getting into a lukewarm bath is probably the worst thing that you can possibly do. So after I went through all this trouble of boiling the water, getting so excited, thinking I had I had bested the system, I got in and it was lukewarm, and I was so sad. As I said, um, as I told nobody Senpai, I literally sat there for three seconds and then got out. And in those three seconds, I had an existential crisis. That this, that my life had amounted to sitting in a tiny tub in my shed in lukewarm water for three seconds. And the fact that I failed to take a bath. It was quite sad. <laughs> three seconds took three years of life. You're not wrong. It was so sad. That is, yes, that emote actually is inspired by how I felt during that time in the tub. It was extremely sad. So... I had amazing baths in Kyoto because we had a self-filling tub. It was great. And then they gave us really nice bath salt that you can put in. And the thing with like Japanese baths is that you're not meant to clean yourself in the bath. They're supposed to be for relaxation. So you can share bath water because you're clean. You take a shower. Right, like, you know, right before you get into the tub. So we all took turns of who got to go first, who got to go second, who got to go third. Um, and we share bath water. Like a family. Iris mentioned the VTuber soup. Bro, I don't know what you're talking about. We were very clean. It was great. I relaxed so hard. Actually, on the second day, I set the temperature too hot. So I still only sat in for like five minutes before I had to get out because I was actually becoming roasted rat. It was bad. <laughs> did you bottle up the water? No, I did not. You nasty. You nasty! Yeah. So that's a bath. That was really nice. Missed business opportunity. That's nasty. Nasty. Disgusting. Why would you even think that is something I would do? I'm a say sir idol. Thank you very much. If it sells, it sells. Bruh. Oh, there's actually something that I wanted to say that happened on the train ride back today that she failed to mention. Iris was, was, was being very cute on the train. We were listening to music together. And then suddenly, I felt a weight on my shoulder. <laughs> I, I felt a weight on my shoulder. That was probably the most anime thing I've ever experienced. <laughs> yeah, that was very cute. <laughs> were you sharing earbuds? Yeah, we were. <laughs> I felt the weight of friendship. Yes, I did. <laughs> I felt the weight of friendship. It's just like my Japanese anime. Yes. Mm. I think the other Japanese moment, not Japanese moment, the anime moment that we experienced was when we were walking the streets of Kyoto, drunk in the middle of the night, just laughing. It reminded me of like the drunk Oji-sans that you see in anime. 
you know, with their ties tied around their head. Except we didn't have ties around our head. It was fun. I've been trying to find the alcohol that we had. It was so good that the store sold and I still can't find it. I'm gonna try even harder. I'm gonna find it. Did you have ribbon tied around your head? Oh my god, what? I think I did. Does that count? <laughs> week zero. <gasps> you know, we still have that remaining week zero in the fridge. It's still there. It's still there. Probably tastes the better because you were with friends. That is true. Drinking with friends is so much more fun. It's buffing up while you wait. <laughs> ah. Man, oh man. Oh, I feel like there's still so much that I want to talk about, but I don't remember what I wanted to talk about. Oh, we went to the deer! We went to the deer park. We went to Nara. Yeah. I got a bruise. Because the deer... Head butted me in the thigh. I have a bruise on my thigh now. They both were sticky, were scared with the deers. Does it make sense for a rat to be the most alpha in this situation? Did a deer, deer try to eat you? I think it did. It was like biting on my clothes and it was nudging me with his head. Man. You live in Australia? That is true. Maybe it felt my formidable aura because I came from the land down under. That's why I survived. I don't know, they're really cute. We bought like the crackers that you that you that they sell on the ground that you feed the deer. And they straight up come up to you and start like headbutting you on the like on the legs and stuff and they're like, gimme food, gimme food, gimme food, gimme food. licking us as well. Licking our clothes. We stepped in so much poop. <laughs> we did. I should really clean my shoes. Yeah. What's well, something else that we need to talk about? Oh! Iris is really cute when she wakes up in the morning. Because she doesn't. <laughs> I've also come to a conclusion that I think I'm turning into Mama Rat when trying to wake other people up. And I'm kind of upset at myself for that. Um... I've come to notice that I wake up Iris in a very aggressive manner. I do the whole body shake thing. Or I flip her blanket. <laughs> And I'm having horrible flashbacks to what Mama Rat used to do to me. <laughs> I kicked her. I didn't kick her. I very playfully jutted my foot in her direction. <laughs> the cycle continues. I mean, I remember the very first day that Iris, um, slept over. I woke her up really gently. I did, I was like softly like, you know, I was like, Iris, wake up. We need to go, Iris. And then flash forward to today, I was literally like, Iris! Octave! <laughs> this is friendship. Truly is friendship. I knew it was sudden because she did the jolt where she was like... Duh! <laughs> That's how she woke up this morning. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I think yesterday... Oh, it's clean. Nice. Yesterday she woke up with a groan because I may have turned the light on. 
Yeah, that's how I woke up yesterday by turning the light on that was right above her. <laughs> and she was like, <laughs> That's exactly the sound that she makes. <laughs> Anonymous, thank you so much for the pink super chat. Bim, bim. Bay, the mom of counsel. Am I really that mom? You know what? Here's the thing. It's just sometimes, like, I just feel like I'm so lazy that when I do things, I feel like everyone else. I, I relate to being lazy. So if I'm doing it, I might as well just. Ah! I might as well just do it for everyone. Does that make sense? I'm not doing the laundry because I want to do the laundry. I'm just like, I need to do the laundry. And I understand not like being, being like procrastinating. So it's just, it makes it, it's just smarter for me to just do it in one go. Is that not a thing? I thought that was a thing. I fell. But that's okay. Yeah. <gasps> this one thing that Iris and I drank, and I didn't know it was a thing, but they have this thing in Japan. It's called tea that reduces body fat. And I didn't know how it worked. But then I figured it out, and my mind was blown. It makes you go poop, and that's how you lose weight. There's a, there's a tea! It's like a green tea, green oi cha or something. It literally says reduce body fat on the bottle. And I was like, oh my god, is this a life hack that I've been missing out on? And then we bought some, and then we drank it on the train ride. And then halfway, our stomach started feeling weird, and I was like, "Uh oh, uh, uh oh, is this the life hack? Is this the life hack? Because if it is, I don't think it's the right one. This is not how I want to lose weight, please. I just ate a little bit too much onigiri." <laughs> It's a laxative, basically. Hey. I didn't know you could lose weight by just pooping. Can you lose weight by just pooping? Cause I thought it was just food that you poop out. Can you poop out fat? Is that a thing? How do you poop out fat? Like, if I have fat, like on my thighs... On my stomach. How can I poop that out? How does fat from your thighs get pooped out? <laughs> <It's> <laughs> WTF are you listening to? Me trying to figure out the most lazy way to lose weight. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But not really. <laughs> That's the thing about going on vacation. You just start eating more. I'm eating breakfast now. In what universe? Who am I? Eating breakfast? That's crazy. I feel like that's very healthy. I feel like everyone's like, Bae, you should be doing that. What are you doing? You're like on a, on a nearly, nearly death scenario every single day when you're in Australia. But for some reason, when you're overseas, you start eating breakfast. I don't know what it is. <sighs> New Year's resolution to eat breakfast. I'm doing great so far. I think I've had breakfast every single... Oh, no. I broke it. I didn't have breakfast yesterday. But that's because we woke up late because we were hung... I mean, they were hung over. <laughs> I was gonna say, my New Year's resolution is to eat breakfast every day, but I broke the resolution before even setting it. Never mind. <laughs> Did the iris...
first thigh squeeze made you self-conscious? No. I mean, I don't think my thigh was that squishy. She kept saying it was squishy, but I'm like, I feel like it's just a normal thigh. I'm not really self-conscious about my weight. I just think I could be better. Does that make sense? But I feel like everyone is just their own harshest critic. In every aspect, you know? I mean, you guys already know how much I weigh, and... I don't... I don't know if it's a lot. I don't know if it's not that much. I don't know if I'm dying, but... Ah! I failed. But sometimes, I kind of, you know, everybody thinks I can look better. Or feel better. Or be better. You know, what am I talking about? Literally, what am I talking about? Whatever. This is music. It's driving me crazy, but I kind of like it. Hell's meaning Subaru. <gasps> oh yeah, I haven't talked about that yet. The off collab. I haven't talked about the off collab yet. We met Lui, we met Subaru, Senpai, and then we met Noeru Senpai. I was so surprised. Um, when when Lui was like, oh yeah, Noeru Senpai is gonna be coming over as well, and I was like, what? Excuse me. Excuse me. It was surreal. Subai Senpai was so nice. And so ganky. And so amazing. And exactly everything that I envisioned her to be. It was surreal. I was so happy. <sighs> I was so happy. <laughs> Did you fangirl? I think I may have fangirled a little bit before she arrived And then I may have started introducing myself But then afterwards I got bonked I got bonked by Subaru Senpai I got hit on the head I'm gonna take that to my grave As the most As the happiest moment of my life I got bonked on my head She hit me on the head Bonk. It was during the collab as well. I think it was just when it was the second time when I laughed at her at her sign at her hand gestures. She leaned over and she bonked me on the head while laughing because I couldn't stop laughing. And then the bonk sent me flying, and then I hit my head on the wall that was behind us. <laughs> It was great. <laughs> it was great. It was amazing. I can now officially say, Subaru Senpai has bonked me on the head. And it was amazing. And I loved it! Ugh. Anyway. Yeah. We cooked a lot of, um, vegan food for us to eat. It was so nice. <laughs> Apparently I heard that she studied a lot, she researched a lot... ...to make sure that the food was vegan. Cause she never cooked vegan before. So thoughtful of her. <laughs> Everyone is so nice! Oh my goodness. Can you tell us about the vegan dishes? Uh, I think Lui posted a picture, did she? Um, so there was like fried tofu. There was miso soup. There was this eggplant dish I really like. I've come to notice that I really enjoy eating eggplant. Ah, <laughs> Oshita. Oshita. Um, and then there was... Oh, soy meat burgers! Hamburger, but they were made of like tofu or like soy meat. It was so good. Nasu is very good. Nasu nice! Very true. Nasu is nice. And I should make some nasu. Make a nasu dom. 
But the thing is, preparing eggplant properly is, is really important. Or else it gets really bitter. And then I don't like it. Nyah. Nyah. Yeah, that was really fun. I didn't... I didn't really process what was happening until... Like, I don't think I post... I've, I still don't think I've processed what has happened. I don't think I've processed the fact that I've met Subaru Senpai. It's like... Crazy. Actually crazy. And I think the fact that like... You know how there's always a saying, never meet your idols? But the fact that she was exactly everything that I envisioned and more... I was so happy. I was just so... Happy, you know? Have you met any other Oshis? Oh... Uh, I mean... Meeting Noida was kind of insane. I wasn't expecting on meeting Noida Senpai. I haven't really... ...interacted with Noida Senpai much because I'm very... I'm, I'm kind of shy. Um, I, I listen to her ASMRs all the time. It's like I'm an avid viewer of her ASMRs. You know? And I was extremely... I was like... I don't, I don't think I'm, I'm like, I'm, hello. I'm, I am a rat. I am but a little hamster. Please. Hello. It's very nice to meet <laughs> Yeah. What senpai did we meet? <gasps> I actually met a senpai today. We met, we met another senpai today. I met a senpai with Fauna today. But I'll let, I'll, 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 I'll wait until Fauna, Fauna tells the story first. Whenever she streams next. <laughs> yeah! We well, guys already know! We met Watame Senpai! Yeah! Yeah! Oh, did Watame Senpai talk about Red? <sighs> Watame Senpai is so cute. <gasps> She's so cute! Oh, she tweeted about it? It was so much fun. That's another reason why I'm so happy. After seeing Watame Senpai, it just put me in such a happy mood. She's so cute! Man. Oh. Is she as huggable as everyone hopes she is? Oh, you have no clue. Right before we left, I think we... It's like, I definitely wanted to hug her, but I was feeling really, really shy. And then we were about to say goodbye, we kind of waved and we were about to walk away. And then she like kind of inched forward and inched back and she was like, oh, oh. And then, and then, and then we, we, we hugged. She's so cute. She is so cute. Uh-huh. Why is the ladder not going where I want it to go? She's very fua fua! Yeah, that was really fun. And we went to a cat cafe afterwards. <laughs> I nearly died many times, but that's okay because the cats were really cute. They were very cute, so it was okay. Yeah! That happened. I'm just so happy. <laughs> I wanna live in Japan, guys. I feel so at home here! I don't wanna leave. Ever! Man! Man! But your shed, I know. 
My shed has just been completed and I feel bad. Not the shed. <laughs> Not the shed. Kenny's alone in the shed. I don't even know if Ken's alive. Ken disappeared the day that I left. He was chilling in the corner of my bathroom and then he chilled in the corner of the sink. And then he just disappeared. I wonder if Ken made babies. Because I saw like a baby daddy long leg in the other corner of the shed. Baby Ken? I don't really know what's happening. <laughs> Ken also went to Japan. You know, it is absolutely... I think the biggest culture shock for me, like if I'm being honest, is the fact that I've not seen a single bug in Japan. I do not know what that life is. I'm so shocked. I'm so used to seeing like, just little bugs here and there. It's become a part of my life, but the fact that I've not seen a single bug ever since coming to Japan is crazy. I'm serious. Spoken like a true Aussie. It's the middle of winter. It doesn't matter. In the middle of winter, there's still bugs. In a, in in my in my shed, at least. Everyone's trying to, you know, get out of the cold, so they all just come into my shed. <laughs> Aussie moment. It truly is an Aussie moment. Aussie winter is not actually winter. Oh my god, that is so true. You know, we were walking the street today, Fauna and I, and then I literally said, oh, It is so cold. Why is it so cold? And immediately after, she's like, Oh, I didn't think it was that cold today. Like, we said it at the same time, and I looked at her, and I'm like, What are you talking about? And then she looked at me, she's like, Oh, wait, no. It's cold for you. <laughs> Aussie winter is not real winter, I have been told. Silly Aussies. I'm just a silly little Aussie. Man. <gasps> oh, so, 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 I was like, why is it so cold and you turn the heater off? When did that happen? What time is it? It's only midnight. Did you try karaoke in Japan? Yeah, I did! We went karaoke with Toa-sama. Uh, went karaoke with like, Kiara and them. Yeah, it was fun. I wanna finish this house at least. I feel like nine months ago we were still at... I'm 90% done. Is it just... This side of it left? Bruh. Literally, bruh. How am I supposed to reach up there? Hi? Oh. Is it just me? I thought I was done. <laughs> I, I thought I was done. <laughs> A big whoops. He saw nothing. That was like 10%. Is it just like the railings that I missed? Or like, you know, something that I missed? Don't worry about it. Hey, 
is fine. Ten percent left in all of PP. Is this ten percent? This is ten percent of the house, bruh. Dun, 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 dun. Goodbye, PP. Bye, bye, PP. It was nice knowing you. We'll see you again soon. Seriously, water is absolutely beast in this game. Did you ever get your persona working? It is working! I'm just trying to find time to play it, because I'm so busy. I'm only getting busier, especially in January. Because we all know what happens when I play persona. I can't stop. You know? So I really need to set aside a day. At least a day every week where I'm just not going anywhere, not doing anything. To play Persona. Um... Oh yeah, I wanna talk about the Mario Kart tournament! Man, I was so... Oh, I wanted to join so bad. But it's like, it was... I think we found out the invitation, or we got invited... Um... To the tournament, and we had already... Like... Secu like, planned out... Um, Kyoto and stuff, and we already booked... And stuff, and I'm like... I'm so upset. I wanted to join. How the frick do I pick this up again? Man... I was so excited. But that's okay. There's always next time I... 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 I sip... Oh, fuck. Fudge nuggets. I said nothing. Zako Cup awaits you next year. Hey, I got pretty good. I've gotten pretty good at Marika. Did you guys not see? Did you guys not see me and Fauna play? I feel like I've gotten pretty good at Marika. Especially if I'm tired or drunk. Yes, but did you see Lisa? Yes, I did. I'm the one that showed... I think I, I showed Iris, the, Iris and Fawn in the clip this morning of Suise stumbling into her own banana because it's a one second delay versus a three seconds if she was hit by the blue, blue shell. That's absolutely genius play. Absolutely genius play. It's crazy. And Suise is this... Susie Senpai is crazy. She's built different. I have so much respect for her. I was so surprised when she called me during her um, 2023 Kutsumachi stream. I was chilling. We were chilling in. We we're still at Dewey's house. We were chilling in like um, on the couch. And then suddenly I felt the entire couch vibrate. And I was like, is someone's phone ringing? And then I looked down and I literally see. What's your message? Susie Discord call. And I was like, what? And I listen back. I'm so sorry for the terrible audio, though. I didn't realize how bad the quality was until I kind of I reheard it back on the stream. Gomen. Majide gomen. So when can we expect Suiseko? I don't know. I need to think. I need to think. I think, see, the thing, the, 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 the uh, cover took a long time as well because I was trying to figure out something that, you know, that would, that would meet the expectations of people, if that makes sense. 94%? What am I missing? Oh. <laughs> Mm, I don't know. <laughs> there was another PP war, wasn't there? <laughs> Big whoops. I made a lot of art, that is true. Goodbye, PP. Pee -pee. It was nice seeing you. I need to catch up on the Mario costume. I couldn't watch it. 
at all because we were out. 95%? What am I mi- Oh. Right. That's the thing with Power Simulator because literally... I don't know what I've cleaned and I don't know what I haven't cleaned. It's just the pavement now, right? Bam, bam. It just never ends. You didn't see Crony in the Zackle Cup? I know! I, I, I need to catch up. There's so many streams I need to catch up on. <sighs> disgrace. I know. I'm a disgrace to the name VTuber. I can't even keep up with the streams. I was too busy touching grass. She had a great comeback in the Zackle Cup, as she should. You know, that was her job. That was her job bestowed upon her by the council leader herself. She did us proud. The many exciting things are happening as well. So we had the Mario Kart stream. Oh yeah! Debuts were today as well. The new host stars Ian Tempest debuts. I caught a snippet of some of them, but then I, I didn't have time. I honestly need to catch up that as well. Congratulations! From what I saw, they were very high quality. Which makes me again self-conscious about my own terrible cringe debut that I hope I never have to see again. But Congratulations! I hope they have fun. I hope they had fun. Hmm. Yeah, doesn't one of them speak Spanish? I think I saw on Twitter some Spanish and I was like, oof. You know Spanish? Please teach me. Bay cringe is the best. I don't know if I should thank you or or, or bonk you. Eh, got slapped by Yago. Do you koto? Already, <clears throat> already, bro. You gotta space out your content. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Wait, did he get slapped for real? For real? <gasps> Bruh. <sighs> I'm glad you guys enjoyed it. Yeah. Dun 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 dun. It still feels weird that I'm a senpai, technically. I already have a couple of generations of core highs, but it still feels weird every time a new one comes out. Because you get even more senpai with every new generation that comes out. And I'm just like. I am but a 12 year old rat. <laughs> I'm just a little rat. Will this vegetable juice never end? I feel like I've, I've literally been drinking it for an hour. There's still like a half of it left. What is going on? Man. Just chug it? Blech. No. Chug it! <gasps> okay. Can you hear that? There is still so much... Mm. Okay. Chug, 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 okay.
piss on your veggie table. Do you feel health? Oh, I feel all the health. I have become the health. I have... I'm in the feel of the health. <laughs> when I tweeted that a couple... The, I think I'm in the feel of the music. I want to give context to what had happened. I was listening to a new um, mix of my new cover that's coming out this month. But I was drunk. So I tweeted, I'm in the feel of the music. And I kept saying it. And I was looking at Fauna and Iris for like validation that it made sense, but they kept saying over and over again that it just didn't make sense. I kept saying, I'm in the feel of the music. And they were like, it doesn't make sense. You were drunk? Yeah, I was. I only, wait, what do you mean I was drunk? You thought I would write that when I wasn't drunk? What image of me do you hold? Bruh, I was wondering if it was a Zuma phase. Zuma phrase? Bruh. Now you just can't tell if I'm being Zuma or if I'm being drunk. Maybe just because when you're being Zuma, you are being drunk. <gasps> Nani. Revelation. What am I missing? Wasn't there something over here? Kokkana? Faye is so Zuma that I, Zuma, cannot understand. I don't believe that for a second. I think you do understand me. But because you're Zuma, you don't want to understand me. Is that what it is? You don't want to admit that you do understand me. Because you don't want to think you are a Zuma. There's nothing wrong with being Zuma. There's nothing wrong with not knowing anything. <laughs> what am I saying? I don't know. Oh, oh, I haven't cleaned that part yet. Okay. <laughs> Are you drunk? No, I'm not. I'm just happy. I'm drunk from veggie table juice. That's what I am. I still need to do my laundry. Oh, goodness. Oh. Oh no. I also slept at like 4 last night because I was reading. Webtoons. <laughs> what a day. Okay, I want to finish this house first. At least before we end the stream. But the title of your stream... Shut up. Oh, this it never ends. It truly never ends. Chimney top gutters wooden tr what will it never end? Oh my goodness, what? Wooden trim? What do you mean wooden trim? Oh no. How am I supposed to clean that? Hi. Kokodama? Okay. Is this the gutter? This is the gutter. Okay. You climb... Ladder and a hope. I see. Okay. This is the gutter. Gutter being cleaned. Tadaima. Oh my god, that reminds me... When uh, Mume was still here. Mume and Fauna would keep, would, kept laughing um, at, 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 the, at the train station announcer when they speak. Because it sounded very high-pitched. 
and they like it feels like they elongate the names of the city. <laughs> I distinctly remember when we went shopping. Where do we where do we go shopping? I think we went shopping at where was it? I think it was Shibuya or some. I think it was Shibuya. And then we were at the train station, and then suddenly the lady is like, Shibuya, Shibuya. <laughs> this station is Shibuya. <laughs> Don't. La I'm not laughing. It's just. It's just funny. It's just funny, okay? Baby announcer. Am I done? Okay, God is done. I mean, what? Chimney top is done. Done. How did it feel to visit the station after seeing it in person? Honestly, it was great. It hit me when I was there. I was like, wait a second. <gasps> this is the station. I kind of went to check if there was a flower store there. I don't think there was. <laughs> I went looking for my part-time job. I may have gone looking for my part-time job just to see if, there, if it exists. Just to see if it existed. No Sunday juice. Unfortunately, no Sunday juice. Yeah. It's kind of upsetting. Did you find the store where you can buy the silver bangle? Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. That was a beautiful bangle and you know it. It was absolutely worth all of the points. Did I even get any? Oh no, how much? Uh oh. We have a situation. How do I get the ladder? The ladder is forever stuck there, guys. The ladder is no more. I cannot access the ladder anymore. Uh. Uh oh. Uh-oh. I don't even know where I have to clean. It's over. It's over. You can still... You can still remotely... Really? Oh, thank goodness. Okay. What am I supposed... Oh, what am I supposed to clean? The owner would be like, why is there a ladder on my roof? Why not? I mean, honestly... I feel like if you ever see a ladder on a roof, it's either because it's like mid-construction, which just makes you look really fancy. <laughs> um... Gutter? But I already cleaned the gutter. I mean... What? What? We need to clean the gutter. And there's wood trims as well. What? Oh, karang. The front gutter needs more work. Ah! de. Doko ya? Ah, koko ka. Like the front here? <gasps> ah, I see! Okay. Let me get rid of. <laughs> Put that. No. Put that. Here. And then we wash here. Right? Yes. Nice. Uh, 
Come on. Come on. Is that still not good enough? Okay. We're getting it, we're getting it, we're getting it, we're getting it. Come on! Sparkle for me. I just want to see you sparkle. What the flying... What the flying... Frittata, what? Please. Hello? Please. Please! Please! Why are you not Kira Kira? What? Check all the gutters. I'm pretty sure I cleaned this one. Yeah, this one is clean. Is there one here that I didn't clean yet? Nani. Oh, there's one up there. I can't parkour. Parkour's not working. Okay, it's working. Okay. This gutter is clean too. What the heck? Gutter. There's only three gutters. Am I losing my mind? Um, it has to be this first gutter because it hasn't dinged yet. Right. But where else am I supposed to clean? There we go. Okay. Now, wooden trim. What is wooden trim? Wooden trim? Wooden trim of what? Wooden trim. Wooden trim. Do we see anything yellow glowing? Wooden trim. Wooden trim. Mm. It's one of the door frames. Fences around the, the porch? Wooden trim. Wooden trim. This is all for, this is all done. Mm. Wooden trim. Wooden trim. Twenty out of twenty one. Trim on the window? Naruhodo. Up here, do you think? <laughs> okay. This one's all clean. Now we check the other window. Are ready, you ready? Okay. That one seems good. Okay. Check the garage, but I did. Mm. White trim. 
White trim. White trim. Second, when did I write? What? <laughs> oh, I got dirty again. Oh, <laughs> that was from last time. Goodness gracious me! Oh my God! Clean the shoe house. I might end it here. I just wanted to finish off the cleaning. I'm getting a bit tired. I need to do my laundry. But we can talk for a little bit while longer. But thanks for watching. <laughs> the game remembered. I can't believe the game remembered. Bruh. It's the wee wee pee pee time capsule. You're not wrong. Oh, I can't... <laughs> So now you can zatsu honestly. Whoa, chat. Whoa. Whoa. Calm down. <laughs> Darkness, thank you so much for the silver chat. Thank you. You seem so sleepy on streams recently. No, it's because it's, it's, um, you go all day, you go out all day and then. You come home and stream. Um, which is what I've been doing because I'm in Japan. Because obviously, I don't want to just stay home all day. I want to go out. But I also want to stream. Normally, when I stream, I don't really go out the same day. You know, to conserve energy. But why conserve energy when you're in a Japan? Did you really get sleep paralysis? Oh yeah, there was that story. Um, I fell asleep on the bed while they were playing Nintendo Sports. And then I was having sleep paralysis, but then I, I, I talked to Mume afterwards and she was like, You're being so cute. You kind of had your eyes open and like, you know, but, but and I was like, oh, wait. Oh, yeah, I vaguely remember having my eyes open. Yeah, no, I, have, I had sleep paralysis. Mume and Fauna, she looks so cute, Bay. I am... I can't move. I am paralyzed. <gasps> Hi, Emma. Thank you so much. Thanks for the stream. Thanks for watching. Were you okay? No, I was fine. I get sleep paralysis quite frequently. Is that a bad thing? I don't know. No, I get it quite frequently. I get it, like, at least a couple times a month. If not, like, once a month, maybe. Yeah. It's not supposed to be common. I get it. Normally if I'm if I take naps though. I don't really get sleep paralysis if it's like from just sleeping sleeping. Like REM sleep. But when I'm taking naps, I tend to get sleep paralysis. I heard it's because of stress. Eh? It happens when your body is too tired, but your mind is not. That kind of makes sense. I don't know. Yeah. But for me, like, I've heard a lot of horror stories with sleep paralysis where, like, people start, like, hallucinating and stuff. I feel like that's really scary. I've never done that before. I've never had that experience. My sleep paralysis is literally just sleep paralysis. In the sense that I can't move. 
And if I start freaking out, I stop breathing. Which, that got a bit scary before. But I've come to identify what sleep paralysis is. I, I can realize it quite quickly so I, I just don't freak out. <laughs> mm hmm. So what happens is like, you kind of awake and, and I know that I, I want to wake up. But I, I can't move. And after I feel that, I'm like, oh wait, I'm having sleep paralysis. And what normally happens is like, I either wake up naturally, I just need to let time pass. Um... Or, you start wiggling your toes. That's how you wake up. You focus all your energy in moving the, the smallest part of your body. So normally it's like your toes. I start wiggling my toes. And then that kind of kickstarts the process of waking up. Hmm. How long does it last usually? Oh, maybe like 5 to 10 minutes. It's not that long. Kill Bill? What's that? It's a mo uh oh. <laughs> Check. Glad you're having fun. Also, congrats on being called a god by Subaru. Question What hand gesture did Subaru show you on your off collab? No comment. Kill Bill's a good movie, but the paralysis scene is very yabai. There's a paralysis scene. Wait, is it a horror movie? Nani. Thank you so much for the ping super chat, bim bim. Please stay healthy this year and have a good memory in Japan. Thank you. Yes, I shall. I will aim to be healthy. I feel healthier already because I'm eating three meals a day. It's an action movie. Eh. Yeah, yoy! I got super normal comments on me. Bim bim bim. Thank you. During your break, it was fun hearing base stories from other members, but more than anything, I wanted to see your, your stream. Thank you so much. I have a small question. Are you gonna stream your plans for this year like last year? My goal is to travel to Sydney, New York once each and meet Bay at the convention. <gasps> I don't know. I don't know what's happening this year. I don't know what's happening this year. But... Thank you. Thank you. I don't know if I'm gonna be invited to conventions this year. I feel like I participated in a lot of conventions last year. But... I don't know. Chaos is happening this year. I have a lot of fun things planned for this year. Like, literally, 2023 is gonna be so fun. But... More things that I'm, I'm sure will happen that are outside of my calculations. Yeah. But anyway. Bye bye, thank you so much. Are you having fun, Japan? I hope you is. I am. I'm having so much fun. Thank you. Just don't overwhelm yourself. I won't. Thank you. Okay, sleepy. I should really I should really do my laundry. What's that thing? Well, you know when you leave your laundry inside the laundry machine for too long? Does it get wrinkly? 
Is that why you shouldn't? I've left my laundry in the laundry for approximately like two hours now. Should I rewash it? <laughs> it gets stinky. Uh oh. Should I rewash it? Uh. Was two hours fine? Or two hours is okay? Okay, okay, okay. I will put it out now. I promise. I promise I'll do it. Nemoi no kai, nemoi se. Nemoi no de neru. Pinky promise. A pinky promise. I'll do it. I promise. <laughs> um, we got a fun day planned tomorrow as well. Um, my next room is probably gonna be in a couple days, mayhaps. And I really, really want to. Um, thank all the New Year... New Year... What do you call it? Otoshidama. It's the New Year... <laughs> What's the direct translation for Otoshidama? New Year pocket money. Is that it? New Year pocket money. Allowance? New Year pocket money. That's what I'm gonna call it. Thank you so much. Everybody, but I really want to thank everyone who, who who super chatted during the New Year period when we had all of our off collabs and stuff. So I'll do that first, and then we'll do the reading of the time capsule. I really don't remember what I wrote. <laughs> um, I don't know. I think the original plan was to write them and then send them to people, but that's kind of weird. And I feel like did someone clip it? So I think some people have already seen it. Maybe I'll just read them out loud and see if, like, write new ones to people and see if anything's changed. Because I've gotten really close to, you know, I've gotten closer to, to more people. Especially Ian, you know? I feel like we should do that. I remember the one you wrote about yourself. Wait, I wrote one to myself? Wait, really? I don't remember that at all. Why did I write one to myself? Huh? Majide? Majide ya. Eh. Interesting. Well, I guess we'll see. We need. Oh, so we need a new year's resolutions as well. It's kind of late, but you know, better than never. <laughs> Just how like, you tagged yourself and I don't want to hear about it. Oh, my goodness. In that case, I'm gonna go put out my laundry and I'm gonna go sleep. Good night, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me today. For this definitely not Zatsu Zatsu. I enjoyed talking to you guys as always. And... I promise I'll be back with, with regular streams soon. I promise. I promise. I promise. <laughs> I promise. Right, so thank you so much for the super chat. Thanks for streaming. Thank you. <laughs> good night. Good night, everybody. A good night. Bye-bye. Annyeong, Janne, Sabata.